Rick It Ralph 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet has a brand new trailer and all the Disney princesses are in it and I'm really excited. Roll it. Oh, come on. Princesses and cartoon characters barf. Hey. <gasps> whoa, whoa, ladies, I'm a princess, too. What kind of a princess are you? Uh, Do you have magic hair? No. Magic hands? No. Do animals talk to you? No. Were you poisoned? No. Cursed? Cursed? No. Kidnapped, Kidnapped or, or enslaved? No. Are you guys okay? Should I call the police? Do people assume all your problems got solved because a big, strong man showed up? Yes. What is up with that? She, she is, is a princess. princess. <laughs> I like that they're <laughs> leaning so hard into the meta aspect of this, yes. which is Disney is a conglomerate. They own everything. Yeah. We got Star Wars. We got the princesses. We yep. got Pixar. There's, you know, I think the Muppets were on the far left of that frame. Yeah, I, I, my eyes definitely followed the X-Wings chasing Iron Man. But yes, that exact like eight-year-old me, my, my heart was swelling like the Grinch there watching that <laughs> whole thing. Yes, definitely. I, I mean, we. I remember Patton Oswalt has this, had this pitch about the Avengers and Star Wars crossing over. Mm -hmm. And it was a joke on Parks and Rec. But don't we all secretly want that to happen? It's, well, you know, on Phineas and Ferb, <laughs> they did Star Wars and they've done the Avengers. So there's a connecting piece there. You know, they, they're they one step away from having accomplished it. Yeah, it's done. I liked how meta they got with the princesses as well. Yes. First of all, they are celebrities. Mm -hmm. They are getting uh, papar paparazzis. Mm -hmm. Paparazzied? That's not a verb. And it is now, though. And then they're all together in this thing, which they haven't appeared really, I mean, unless you count Kingdom Hearts, but that's not really yep. correct. And it's not all of them either. Yep, that's this true. This is literally all of them. People were worried before that Mulan and Ariel weren't in there, but they are, and every single one has their... Uh, original voice actor. Yes, which I thought was super great, especially when Cinderella shatters the glass slipper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the broken like, bottle. I will yeah. cut you. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> no, but bringing back all the original talent, all of that, I think that's super fantastic, especially because uh, those properties innately are always getting uh, like a new fan base, like new people are aging in and may not even know Pocahontas or Mulan or Princess Tiana. And now they're going to get a taste of that, which I think is fantastic. Yeah, I liked how Pocahontas, she had the staff that her dad was going to kill John Smith with, mm -hmm. but now it's her weapon, right? right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then there's this whole thing of, were you poisoned, <laughs> enslaved? <laughs> Everyone assumes the man in your life did everything. Yep. I mean, they, they really understand mm -hmm. a lot of, you know, the silliness of this, the uh, maybe some criticism, maybe not all criticism, but some mm -hmm. criticism. Mm -hmm. I liked how it was Oh My Disney as yes. this overarching thing, which is their real owned website. Yes, it is. It is, it is. And maybe it's not the hugest part of the internet, right? but it's still pretty big. I, I hate to say it though, when I, when I was watching it and they were like, we're going to the internet and they come in and they see this like wonderland of things. The very first thing that went through my head was like, there'd be a lot more nudity if you're going to the internet. <laughs> right? I'm like, hey, sorry, I realize it's a kid's movie. <laughs> this is for children. Yeah, I'm like, but it would. Maybe they'll throw a joke in there too. Like, right. don't go over there. Cause mm. they did also throw in an autocomplete joke. Yes. Like, what did you mean? There's, there's, there's this. It's like, stop it. I'm still writing, I'm still figuring it out. Yes. I'm really excited about this. Um, I didn't love the first Wreck It Ralph because I thought I was seeing a vintage video game movie and instead I saw a candy movie, mm -hmm. which I didn't sign up for. But it seems like they're being more clear. This is more about this era of games. I, I definitely, and oh, this sorry. era of internet. Go ahead. Yes, no, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I agree that it. The original Wreck-It Ralph was not a favorite, but I enjoyed it, sure. And, um, you know, again, like Zangief and the uh, the, the villains okay, meeting. Okay, yeah, that was good. <laughs> yeah, but There's the, some gems in that movie. Yes, yes, but it's like two minutes of gems. You're absolutely correct, though. And then it's back to the candy stuff. So I, I think this is definitely going to be more the movie I thought the last one was going to be for certain. Yeah. Well, I mean, since we're leading into internet culture, that mm -hmm. also isn't necessarily games. Sure. I love it, but it's not necessarily games, which may be my review of this movie if and when I get to see it. Yep. Audience, what do you think of the trailer and what we know about Wreck-It Ralph 2? Ralph breaks the internet thus far. They also make fun of the phrase breaks the internet, which may be a Kim Kardashian reference also. I hope it's not. Okay, let us know your thoughts on Facebook and Twitter.